Well, before heading overseas, Joe Biden bashing the Supreme Court's abortion ruling, he argues freedom is on the decline, Will, in the U.S. compared to other nations. Take a watch. This decision, the conservative majority of the Supreme Court shows how extreme it is. They made the United States an outlier among developed nations in the world. So the question is, Will, uh, are we extreme now or were we extreme before? The and United States is an outlier. Yes. In the context of the world, you've seen people, I've seen people, by the way, on social media refer to this as the American Taliban. Is it true? Let's take a look at some of the Western countries across the world and what their laws are when it comes to abortion and see how it might compare to, for example, Republican led state governments in this country. Let's go off the wall for more. Let's start with Poland. In Poland, um, which was up just a moment ago, you can only arrive at an abortion in extreme circumstances. It's basically banned, but for extreme circumstances. Then, and as for the rest of Europe, just, just rape, can incest, see, and life of the mother. Absolutely. And you can see here with Ireland, Germany, and Italy, bans at 12 and 13 weeks of pregnancy. Put that in context. We've got the, the, the Mississippi law that was struck down that led to the overturning of Roe v. Wade was 15 weeks, which was deemed extreme by the left, right? Right now, right. America is only one of six countries across the world where you effectively have, or before Roe v. Wade was overturned, abortion on demand where you could terminate a, pres a pregnancy at any point. This is Ireland, Germany, and Italy, where except for extreme exceptions, 12 weeks, 12 weeks, 13 weeks, abortion is banned. These are not outlier countries. These are countries that we're meeting with in the G7 right now that have far more stringent abortion laws than America did prior to Roe being overturned. And it wasn't just Joe Biden mischaracterizing the United States place in the world. There was a lot of performative virtue in the wake of the decision by the United States Supreme Court. One of those, by the way, was from Emmanuel Macron of France. He said the following, we may be able to put it up on screen for you, but he said, abortion is a fundamental right for all women. It must be protected. I wish to express my solidarity with the women whose liberties are being undermined by the Supreme Court of the United States. Again, Emmanuel Macron of France. Let's check in Let's on check France. Let's check out France. <laughs> France, it's possible after 14 weeks of pregnancy, but only in exceptional circumstances. And by the way, that 14 weeks is something that is mirrored in Austria and in Spain as well. And Pete, as you point out, 14 weeks of pregnancy is more restrictive than Correct. the law in Mississippi that led to the Supreme Court overturning Roe v. Wade. Which we were told was extreme to begin with. It was 12 weeks until very recently Macron had it moved to 14. Uh, also, you've got Austria. It's very difficult to find an abortion facility. Uh, a lot of these very Christian, historically Christian nations, you have doctors and hospitals, while it may be legal uh, prior to a certain point, who refused to do the procedure to begin with. A reflection of the ethos in those countries that see it as something that should be maybe legal early, but safe and rare, uh, and certainly believe anything beyond 14 weeks to be extreme. So before we move on to our, our final slide, I also want to share with you one more tweet from a world leader, and this is Justin Trudeau of Canada. Justin Trudeau of Canada said uh, the following, Pete, he said, no government politician or man should tell a woman what she can do and cannot do with her body. I want the women of Canada to know we will always stand up for your right to choose. I would ask Justin from Canada two questions. <laughs> First, what is a woman? And second, question. wasn't it just a few months ago you were telling every man and woman of Canada exactly what they had to put into their body when it comes to a COVID vaccine? World leaders across the globe showing a bit of hypocrisy and performative virtue when it comes to the United States Supreme That's exactly Court. Exactly right. And feeding into what Joe Biden is saying to the rest of the world as he heads to the G7 today, that America is somehow now this evil place that has become impossible for women to live in, when in actuality, a lot of the rest of the world has had a more stringent restriction on abortion for quite some time, except, Will, for some countries that have similar laws to what we've had and have had them for quite some time. Check out two countries with much broader options for abortion. Who might they be? How about China and North Korea? Nine million abortions performed in 2020 in, China, in, in communist China. And in North Korea, it's effectively available upon request. So when we talk about these six countries that effectively allowed for abortion on demand. Um, America was alongside China and North Korea and a few others. And on the other side of the ledger are all the other countries that we mentioned 
who see a limit to what should be done to a baby inside a mother's womb. So when Joe Biden says the United States is an outlier, he's correct. Not because it's the American Taliban more restrictive than Western Europe, but that we are more for reflective in our liberal policies to abortion of North Korea and China than we are of the rest of the developed world. That was until we see perhaps some laws from state to state across the United States in the wake of Roe v. Wade. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if the blue states want to be more like North Korea and China going forward and whether or not red states that are going to restrict it more often reflect like the consensus Europe. of the world. Yes. I'm going into this, by the way, on the Will Cain podcast tomorrow. Three new episodes every week. We have a deep dive tomorrow on the decision by the Supreme Court of the United States and its implications.